Cleopatra, the mysterious queen of the Nile. Welcome to the mysterious world of Cleopatra, one of the most captivating figures of the ancient world. Cleopatra is not only remembered as the last pharaoh of Egypt, but also as one of the most charismatic and influential female leaders in history. Stay with us until the end of the video to get a closer look at this fascinating story and discover the secrets of this enigmatic figure in history. Cleopatra was born in 69 BC into a wealthy and complex family. Her father, Pharaoh Ptolemy Thuathine, was a member of the Ptolemaic dynasty. Cleopatra was one of the last representatives of Egypt's Hellenistic period. During her education, Cleopatra learned many languages and acquired a vast body of knowledge. She could speak Greek, Egyptian, Aramaic, Ethiopian, Troglodytic, Arabic, and Hebrew. This multilingual ability would later play a significant role in her political career. After the death of her father Ptolemy Dothin in 51 BC, Cleopatra and her brother Ptolemy Dothin ascended to the Egyptian throne as joint rulers. However, this partnership quickly turned into a growing rivalry between the siblings. Cleopatra initially ruled, but she was deposed from the throne and exiled from Egypt by her brother and his advisors. This exile marked a significant turning point in her life, shaping her character and influencing her future style of rule. Cleopatra gathered her own army and returned to Egypt to reclaim her throne. She engaged in a direct power struggle with her brother Ptolemy Thind for the throne. This struggle would shape the future of Egypt and affect its relations with the Roman Empire. During this time, Cleopatra's relationship with the Roman Empire became crucial. She began to establish diplomatic relations with the powerful leaders of Rome to protect Egypt as a strong independent state. Cleopatra was known for her leadership style, intelligence and diplomatic skills. She utilized these abilities to contend with formidable rivals both within Egypt and on the international stage. In 48 BC, the arrival of Julius Caesar in Egypt marked a turning point in Cleopatra's life and Egypt's destiny. Cleopatra aimed to gain an advantage in her struggle with her brother by forming an alliance with Caesar. Her bold reign became synonymous with preserving Egypt's independence and maintaining its status as a regional power. She displayed extraordinary skill and determination in both domestic politics and foreign affairs. The first encounter between Cleopatra and Julius Caesar in 48 BC is considered a historic moment. Cleopatra devised a bold and creative plan to win Caesar's support. She had herself wrapped in a carpet and presented before Caesar, and this unconventional entrance marked the beginning of their relationship. The relationship between Caesar and Cleopatra had both political and personal dimensions. With Caesar's support, Cleopatra gained the upper hand over her brother Ptolemy the Fiend and reclaimed the Egyptian throne. In 47 BC, Cleopatra and Caesar's union resulted in the birth of a son, Ptolemy XV, Philopator Philometor Caesar, also known as Caesarion. The birth of Caesarion had significant political implications for both Egypt and Rome. In 46 BC, Cleopatra visited Julius Caesar in Rome. This visit generated significant attention and controversy in Rome. Cleopatra's presence in Rome was met with both admiration and criticism. The assassination of Julius Caesar in 44 BC marked a major turning point in Cleopatra's life and political career. Caesar's death presented new challenges and uncertainties for Cleopatra, pushing her to develop a new political strategy. Cleopatra and Mark Antony's first encounter took place in 41 BC. Antony had become one of Rome's most powerful leaders after the death of Caesar. Cleopatra sought to maintain Egypt's independence and power by forming an alliance with Antony. The relationship between Cleopatra and Antony quickly took on both romantic and political dimensions, 
This union held strategic significance for both parties. Antony benefited from Cleopatra's power and influence, while Cleopatra leveraged Antony's military and political support. As their relationship developed, Antony and Cleopatra established joint rule over Egypt and the eastern Mediterranean region. This period allowed both leaders to gain regional power and influence. The alliance between Antony and Cleopatra led to a serious conflict with Octavian, who would later be known as Augustus Caesar in Rome. Octavian, concerned about Antony and Cleopatra's growing strength, declared war against them. The Battle of Actium in 31 BC marked a critical turning point for Antony and Cleopatra. They suffered a devastating defeat in this battle, severely weakening their power and influence. The Battle of Actium in 31 BC had devastating consequences for Antony and Cleopatra. This defeat severely weakened both Egypt and Antony's power in Rome, putting their political and military positions in jeopardy. After the battle, Antony and Cleopatra retreated to Egypt and began preparations for a final stand. However, Octavian's forces rapidly advanced towards Egypt, and their situation grew increasingly desperate. In 30 BC, with Octavian's approach to Egypt, Antony succumbed to despair and committed suicide. According to some sources, Antony took his own life, believing that Cleopatra had died. But this information is not historically definitive. Shortly after Antony's death, Cleopatra also took her own life. Historical records indicate that she died by allowing herself to be bitten by an asp, although this story may carry a legendary quality. Cleopatra's death marked the end of the Ptolemaic dynasty in Egypt and the beginning of the Roman Empire. While much has been said about Cleopatra's legendary beauty, her true physical appearance remains a great mystery. Some historians argue that her beauty may have been exaggerated and that her true allure lay in her intelligence and charisma. Ancient coins and artworks offer different clues about her physical characteristics, but may not necessarily reflect an accurate representation. The location of the tombs of Cleopatra and Mark Antony is a significant archaeological mystery. Despite various research and excavations, the exact locations of these tombs have not been found yet. Some archaeologists speculate that the tombs could be in or near Alexandria, ancient sites in Egypt. Furthermore, it's also considered possible that the tombs might be in lesser-known regions of Egypt or even in other Mediterranean locations associated with Cleopatra's homeland. Cleopatra has remained one of the most captivating figures in world history, even thousands of years after her death. Her legacy is significant not only in the context of ancient Egyptian history, but also in the broader history of female leadership. Cleopatra is remembered as a powerful political and cultural icon. Cleopatra's story has inspired countless works of art and literary creations over centuries. Shakespeare's play Antony and Cleopatra dramatizes her story in a compelling way. She has also been a popular figure in film and television, with one of the most famous examples being the 1963 film Cleopatra, starring Elizabeth Taylor. In this video, we took a comprehensive look into the life of Cleopatra, one of the most captivating and mysterious figures of ancient Egypt. Cleopatra's story is a complex dance of power, intelligence and passion. This legendary queen, who remains in the dusty pages of history, continues to enchant people today. Are there still undiscovered secrets and hidden truths within Cleopatra's story? And if we could transcend time, how different would Cleopatra's true story appear from what is told today? Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to the channel and sharing your comments.